Stop thinking your blood type is just a letter on your driver's license, because that single letter is actively deciding how you might die. You think I'm exaggerating, but the biology doesn't lie. You think O positive just means you are a universal donor and you're safe? That is a dangerous myth. If you have type O blood, you are walking around with a biological target painted on your gut lining that specific deadly bacteria are hunting for right now. If you are type A, your blood is naturally stickier than everyone else's, silently forming the clots that lead to strokes while you sit on the couch. This isn't a horoscope, this is biology. A massive study published in the journal Neurology followed over 30,000 people and found that your blood type is a direct predictor of cognitive decline and stroke risk, while research from the American Heart Association proved that non-O blood types have a significantly higher risk of heart failure. I'm not telling you this to scare you. I'm telling you this because your doctor probably hasn't. In the next few minutes, I am going to break down the specific hidden time bombs inside O, A, B, and AB blood types, reveal the danger loops you are living in, and more importantly, give you the exact safety loops to diffuse them. No more confusion, just the raw scientific truth that could save your life. Before we look at your specific type, you have to understand the mechanism because otherwise the solution won't make sense. Imagine your red blood cells are like tennis balls floating in a stream. On the surface of these tennis balls, there are tiny little spikes or sticky patches called antigens. Think of antigens like biological Velcro. If you are type A, you have A-style Velcro. If you are type B, you have B-style Velcro. And if you are type O, you are naked because you have zero antigens. This matters because bacteria and viruses are smart, having evolved to latch onto specific types of Velcro. If a virus has a hook that fits your specific blood type, it hijacks your system instantly. Furthermore, this Velcro determines how thick or thin your blood is, essentially deciding if your veins are pumping water or maple syrup. Let's start with the most common blood type, type O positive, which nearly 40% of the world carries. You probably think you are the strong blood type, the original hunter-gatherer blood. But here is the twisted irony, because your blood is chemically slippery. Since type O blood lacks those sticky A or B antigens, you have naturally lower levels of a clotting protein called the von Willebrand factor. Think of this factor as the glue that helps plug up a cut, and because you have less of this glue, your blood takes longer to clot. This is a double-edged sword, because on one side, you are practically bulletproof against deep vein thrombosis and strokes caused by random clots, giving you superflow blood. However, the bad news is terrifying, because if you get into a car accident, undergo major surgery, or suffer a traumatic injury, you are at a significantly higher risk of hemorrhaging. You bleed out faster than anyone else, and trauma surgeons often guess a patient is type O just by watching how hard it is to stop the bleeding on the table. But the immediate danger for type O isn't trauma, it's your lunch. Type O blood cells express something called the H antigen, which sounds technical, but is essentially a landing strip for bacteria. Nasty bugs like cholera, norovirus, and Helicobacter pylori, the bacteria that causes stomach ulcers, have evolved to lock onto this H antigen perfectly. It's like they have a master key to your intestines, explaining why you might end up in the hospital with severe dehydration after a bad seafood dinner while everyone else just gets a mild tummy ache. You aren't weak. Your biology just invited the bacteria in. To protect yourself, you must realize that stomach acid is your shield. Since your gut lining is vulnerable, you need to keep your stomach acid strong to kill bugs before they latch on. So avoid chronic use of antacids unless absolutely necessary. If you feel burning in your stomach, don't ignore it because you are genetically prone to ulcers and you should get checked for H. pylori early. Also, if you are ever scheduling surgery, even dental work, tell your doctor explicitly that you are type O and bleed easily, as this prepares the team to have extra clotting agents ready. Now we move to type A positive, where the script flips entirely. If type O is slippery, 
Type A is sticky. And in the modern world, this is a major problem. Type A blood is loaded with the A antigen and higher levels of cortisol, the stress hormone. But the real killer here is hypercoagulability. That's a fancy word that means your blood loves to clot. In ancient times, this was great because if a tiger scratched you, you stopped bleeding instantly and survived. But today, you aren't running from tigers. You are sitting in a chair for eight hours a day. When sticky blood sits still, it clumps, which is why type A individuals have a statistically higher risk of deep vein thrombosis, pulmonary embolisms, and heart attacks. Your blood is naturally thicker, like pumping syrup through your veins. I wish the bad news for type A stopped at heart disease, but epidemiological studies have found a chilling link between type A blood and certain cancers, specifically gastric and pancreatic cancer. Researchers believe the A antigen affects how cells stick together and how your immune system signals inflammation, creating a friendly neighborhood for inflammation to fester. The same H. pylori bacteria we mentioned earlier interacts with the A antigen to create exaggerated inflammation in the stomach, which can damage DNA over time. If you are type A, you cannot afford to be sedentary. Movement is medicine for you because you need to move your syrup blood. So never sit for more than 45 minutes without standing up. This isn't just advice. For you, it is stroke prevention. You also need to actively practice stress reduction like meditation or breathing because you biologically release more cortisol, which literally thickens your blood further. Adopt an anti-inflammatory diet by eliminating processed meats that act like gas on the fire and focus on plant-based foods that naturally thin the blood, like ginger, garlic, and turmeric. Type B positive is found in roughly 10% of the population and carries its own fascinating but dangerous profile. Originating in the Himalayan highlands, this blood type has a robust immune system, but that strength comes with a weird vulnerability. Type B individuals tend to have higher levels of C-reactive protein, CRP, which is a marker for inflammation in the body. While you might not get the clots of type A or the bleeding of type O, you are prone to vascular inflammation. Think of your arteries like a garden hose. Type B blood can make the inside of that hose rough and inflamed over time, leading to peripheral artery disease and circulation issues in your hands and feet. If your hands are always cold, this might be why. Furthermore, the B antigen is a favorite snack for distinct pathogens like Salmonella and E. coli. While type O gets hit by norovirus, type B gets hit by food poisoning from meats and eggs because the bacteria use your B antigen to anchor themselves into your gut lining, leading to infections that last longer and hit harder. To stay safe, watch your extremities for numbness as an early warning sign of vascular issues. Be hypervigilant about food hygiene, especially with poultry and undercooked eggs, and eat nitric oxide-rich foods like beets and leafy greens to help dilate those inflamed blood vessels and improve circulation. Then we have the rarest of the positive types, AB positive, found in less than 4% of the population. You have both A and B antigens, making you the universal recipient for blood transfusions, which is great if you get hurt, but inside your body, there is a strange trade-off. Research published in the journal Neurology showed a shocking statistic that people with AB blood were 82% more likely to develop cognitive issues and memory loss than other blood types. Why? It comes back to endothelial function, which is how your blood vessels regulate themselves. Because you have both antigens, you are prone to a specific type of clotting factor called factor VIII. Much like type A, but combined with the B profile, this creates a sludge effect in the tiny microvessels of the brain. Over decades, this poor microcirculation can starve brain cells of oxygen, leading to faster age-related decline. For you, brain games are not optional. You need to keep neural pathways active, and cardiovascular exercise is critical 
to push blood into those tiny capillaries. High blood pressure is dangerous for everyone, but for AB types, it accelerates cognitive decline. So keep your numbers low. We must now enter the, quote, negative zone, because if your blood type has a minus sign next to it, O negative, A negative, B negative, or AB negative, you are part of a very exclusive club comprising only about 15% of humans. Biologically, being negative means you are missing a specific protein called the rhesus factor, or RH factor. If positive blood is a house with a welcome mat, negative blood is a house with a keep out sign. And this missing protein creates massive, life-altering risks. The most critical issue arises in pregnancy. If you are an RH negative woman carrying an RH positive baby, your immune system may see your own baby as a foreign invader. Your white blood cells can actually cross the placenta and attack the fetus's red blood cells, a condition formerly known as hemolytic disease of the newborn. Thankfully, modern medicine provides the Rogam shot, which cloaks the baby's blood cells so your immune system doesn't see them, turning a fatal mismatch into a non-issue. So never skip this conversation with your doctor. For O-negative individuals, you are the famous universal donors, the heroes of the emergency room. But biologically, being a hero is dangerous. Because while you can save everyone, almost no one can save you. You have zero antigens. No A, no B, no RH. So you are compatible with nobody except other O-negatives who make up less than 7% of the population. This creates a scarcity trap where, if you lose blood in a massive wreck, the hospital cannot give you O+, plus, A, B, or AB. They have to find that rare O- minus bag. And if they run out, you are in critical trouble. You also still possess the typo gut vulnerability to dehydration from cholera and norovirus, making you harder to transfuse if that dehydration causes organ failure. You need to know which hospitals in your area have large blood banks because small clinics might not stock enough O for major trauma. And you should always wear a medical ID bracelet that says O-N-E-G to save doctors time during emergencies. The risks for A negative and B negative are hidden, but just as severe. A negative individuals carry the sticky blood risks of A positive clotting and heart disease, but with the added nightmare of scarcity, since they can only receive A or O minus blood. You are essentially walking around with a high risk of needing a hospital due to clots, but a low chance of finding compatible blood quickly. B negative individuals are fighting a two front war against the infection risks of the B antigen and the vascular inflammation risks, all while possessing a blood type found in barely 1% of the population. If this vascular damage leads to surgery, finding a donor is like finding a needle in a haystack. The pro tip for both A and B individuals is autologous donation. If you are scheduling a planned surgery, donate your own blood weeks in advance and have the hospital store it for you so you don't have to rely on the precarious public supply. Finally, we have AB negative, the rarest blood on earth, found in less than 0.6% of humans. You are essentially a biological ghost with the most confusing immune profile possible. You have A and B antigens, but no RH, leading to what studies suggest is erratic immune signaling, sometimes too slow to react to viruses, sometimes unorganized. You also face the ultimate supply crisis because you can only receive blood from other negative donors, and in a mass casualty event, you are often at the back of the line for resources. Your safety loop involves building your tribe. Know your family's blood types because genetics run in clusters. And if your brother is also AB negative, he is your biological insurance policy, so keep him close. If you are O, guard your gut and watch for ulcers. If you are A, move your body and don't let your sticky blood sit still. If you are B, watch your inflammation and eat clean to protect your arteries. If you are AB, protect your brain with cardio. If you are negative, wear an ID and be prepared.
The medical system treats you like a statistic, but you are a specific biological machine. And now that you have the manual, you can stop flying blind. Go to the comments and type your blood type right now to find your blood tribe and see how many others share your specific risks.